DNA repair from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at www.wikipedia.org. DNA repair is a process constantly operating in each cell of the living being. It is essential to survival because it protects the genome from damage. In human cells, both normal metabolic activities and environmental factors, such as UV rays, can cause DNA damage, resulting in as many as 500,000 individual molecular lesions per cell per day. These lesions cause structural damage to the DNA molecule and can dramatically alter the cell's way of reading the information encoded in its genes. Consequently, the DNA repair process must be constantly operating to correct rapidly any damage in the DNA structure. As cells age, however, the rate of DNA repair can no longer keep up with ongoing DNA damage. The cell then suffers one of three possible fates. Firstly, an irreversible state of dormancy, known as senescence. Secondly, cell suicide, also known as apoptosis or programmed cell death. Or three, cancer. Most cells in the body become senescent. Then, after irreparable DNA damage, apoptosis occurs. In this case, apoptosis functions as a last resort mechanism to prevent a cell from becoming cancerous and endangering the organism. When cells become senescent, alterations in their gene regulation cause them to function less efficiently, which inevitably causes disease. The DNA repair ability of a cell is vital to its normal functioning and to the health and longevity of the organism. Many genes that were shown to influence lifespan were subsequently associated with DNA damage repair and protection. Failure to correct lesions in cells that form gametes cause mutations from one generation to the next and hence influence the rate of evolution. DNA damage DNA damage, due to normal metabolic processes inside the cell, occurs at a rate of 50,000 to 500,000 molecular lesions per cell per day. However, many more sources of damage can drive this number even higher. Whilst this constitutes only 0.0002% of the human genome, a 3 billion basis, a single unrepaired lesion to a critical cancer-related gene, such as a tumour suppressor gene, could have catastrophic consequences for the cell. Nuclear versus mitochondrial DNA damage. In human and eukaryotic cells in general, DNA is found in two cellular locations, inside the nucleus and inside the mitochondria. Nuclear DNA exists in large-scale aggregate structures known as chromosomes, which are composed of DNA wound up around bead-like proteins called histones. Whenever a cell needs to access the genetic information encoded in nuclear DNA, it will unravel the required section, read it, and then allow it to wind up once more in its protected conformation. In contrast, mitochondrial DNA, which is located inside mitochondrial organelles, exists in single or multiple copies of a circular loop without any histone association. Consequently, mitochondrial DNA is far more prone to damage than nuclear DNA, because it lacks the structural protection afforded by histone proteins. In addition, a highly oxidative environment inside mitochondria will exist due to the constant production of ATP by oxidative phosphorylation makes mitochondrial DNA even more prone to damage. Sources of damage DNA damage can be subdivided into two main types. Endogenous processes, such as attack by reactive oxygen radicals produced from normal metabolic byproducts. It's also known as spontaneous mutation. Or by agents of environmental origin, such as ultraviolet 200 to 300 nanometer wavelength radiation from the sun, other radiation frequencies, such as X-rays and gamma rays, certain plant toxins, human-made mutagenic chemicals, such as hydrocarbons from cigarette smoke, and cancer chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Replication of damaged DNA can lead to the incorporation of the wrong base opposite the damaged one. This incorrect base is now fixed in the next generation of cell, permanently changing the DNA sequence. This change in sequence is a mutation. Types of damage Endogenous damage affects the primary rather than secondary structure of the double helix. It can be subdivided into four classes. 1. Oxidation of basis, e.g. 8-oxo-7-8-dihydroguanine and generation of DNA strand interruptions from reactive oxygen species. 2. Methylation of basis, such as formation of 7-methylguanine. 3. Hydrolysis of basis, such as depurination and depyrimidination, and four, mismatch of bases, due to DNA replication in which a wrong DNA base is stitched into place in the newly forming DNA strand. 
DNA Repair Mechanisms The cell cannot tolerate DNA damage as it interferes with the integrity and accessibility of the information encoded in its genome. Depending on the type of damage inflicted on the DNA's double helical structure, a variety of repair strategies have evolved to replace the lost information. The information to be replaced must be made available either by an intact version of the complementary strand of DNA, or from the sister chromosome. Without access to this information, repair cannot take place. Damaged DNA results in an altered configuration of the molecule, which can be rapidly detected by the cell. Specific DNA repair-related molecules are attracted to and bind at or near the site of damage, inducing other molecules also to bind and form a complex, and enables repair to take place. The types of molecule involved and the mechanism of repair that takes place is based on 1. The type of damage on the DNA molecule 2. Whether the cell has entered into a state of senescence and 3. The phase of the cell cycle that the cell is in Single Strand Damage In order to repair damage to one of the two helical domains of DNA, there are numerous mechanisms by which DNA repair can take place. These include 1. Direct Reversal of Damage these are specialised mechanisms for a reversing of one specific type of damage. Examples include methylguanine methyltransferase. Examples include methylguanine methyltransferase, MGMT, which specifically removes methyl groups from guanine, or photolyase in bacteria, which breaks the chemical bond created by UV light between adjacent thymidine bases. 2. Excision repair mechanisms in which the damaged nucleotide is removed and an undamaged nucleotide put back in by using the information from the undamaged copy. These include base excision repair, which repairs damage due to alkylation or deamination, nucleotide excision repair, which largely repairs bulky helix distorting damage, including damage caused by UV light, and mismatch repair, which corrects errors of DNA replication and recombination. 3. Single strand break repair, which rejoins interruptions in a single strand of the DNA chain caused by oxidation. Double strand breaks. A particularly hazardous type of DNA damage to dividing cells is a break to both strands in the double helix. There are two mechanisms that exist to repair this damage. They are generally known as homologous recombination and non-homologous end joining. Homologous recombination utilises a source of identical or nearly identical sequence in the genome as a template for repair of the break. This mechanism is believed to be predominantly used during the phases of the cell cycle when the DNA is replicating or has completed replicating its DNA. This allows the damaged chromosome to be repaired using the newly created sister chromatid, which is an identical copy. Human genome is highly repetitive and contains many possible sources of identical sequences. The combination with these other sequences can be very harmful since the crossing over which may result can cause a chromosomal translocation or other chromosome rearrangements. The enzymatic machinery responsible for this repair process is nearly identical to the machinery responsible for chromosomal crossover in germ cells during meiosis. Non-homologous end joining essentially rejoins the two ends of a break. However, there is often DNA sequence lost during this process, and so this repair can be mutagenic. Non-homologous end joining can occur at all stages of the cell cycle, but is predominant before DNA replication, when homologous recombination with the sister chromatid is not yet available. Since the vast majority of the genome in humans and other multicellular organisms is made up of DNA which are not genes, the so-called non-coding or junk DNA, this mutagenic repair is less likely to be harmful to a cell and homologous recombination with sequences other than the sister chromatid. The enzymatic machinery used for non-homologous end joining is also utilised in B cells to rejoin breaks created by the RAG proteins during VDJ recombination and generation of antibodies in the immune system. See also carcinogenesis. DNA repair in disease and ageing. Poor DNA repair induces pathology. As cells get older, the amount of DNA damage accumulates, overtaking the rate of repair and resulting in a reduction of protein synthesis. As proteins in the cell are used for numerous vital functions, the cell becomes slowly impaired and eventually dies. When enough cells in an organ reach such a state, the organ itself will become compromised, and the symptoms of disease begin to manifest. Experimental studies in animals where genes associated with DNA repair were silenced resulted in accelerated ageing, early manifestation of age-related diseases, 
and increased susceptibility to cancer. In studies where the expression of certain DNA repair genes was increased resulted in extended lifespan and resistance to carcinogenic agents in cultured cells. DNA repair rate is variable. If the rate of DNA damage exceeds the capacity of the cell to repair it, the accumulation of errors can overwhelm the cell and result in senescence, apoptosis or cancer. Inherited diseases associated with faulty DNA repair functioning result in premature aging, for example Werner's syndrome, and increased sensitivity to carcinogens. Studies in animals where DNA repair genes are prevented from functioning show similar disease profiles. On the other hand, organisms with enhanced DNA repair systems, such as Dinococcus radiodurans, also known as Conan the Bacterium, listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's toughest bacterium, exhibit remarkable resistance to radioactivity because their DNA repair enzymes are able to perform at unusually fast rates to keep up with radiation-induced damage and because it carries 4 to 10 copies of the genome. In human studies, Japanese centenarians have been found to have a common mitochondrial genotype which predisposes them to reduce DNA damage in their mitochondria. Studies in smokers have found that for people with a mutation that causes them to express less of the powerful DNA repair gene HOGG1, their vulnerability to lung and other smoking-related cancers are increased. Single nucleotide polymorphisms associated with this mutation can be clinically detected. Hereditary DNA repair disorders Defects in the NER mechanism are responsible for several genetic disorders, including Xeroderma pigmentosum, which results in hypersensitivity to sunlight and UV, resulting in increased skin cancer incidence and premature aging. Cocaine syndrome, which results in hypersensitivity to UV and chemical agents. Trichophyodystrophy, which results in sensitive skin and brittle hair and nails. Mental retardation often accompanies the latter two disorders, suggesting increased vulnerability of developmental neurons. Other DNA repair disorders include Werner's syndrome, which results in premature aging and retarded growth, Bloom's syndrome, which results in sunlight hypersensitivity and high incidence of malignancies, and ataxia telangiectasia, which results in sensitivity to ionising radiation and some chemical agents. Other diseases associated with reduced DNA repair function include Fanconi's anemia, hereditary breast cancer, and hereditary colon cancer. Chronic DNA repair disorders Chronic disease can be associated with increased DNA damage. For example, smoking cigarettes causes oxidative damage to the DNA and other components of heart and lung cells, resulting in the formation of DNA adducts, molecules that disrupt DNA. DNA damage has now been shown to be the causative factor in diseases from atherosclerosis to Alzheimer's, where patients have a lesser capacity for DNA repair in their brain cells. Mitochondrial DNA damage has also been implicated in numerous disorders. Longevity genes. Certain genes are known to influence variation in lifespan within a population of organisms. Studies in model organisms such as yeast, worms, flies and mice have identified single genes which when modified can double lifespan. For example, a mutation in the AIDS-1 gene of the nematode worm. These genes are known to be associated specifically with cell functions other than DNA repair. But when the pathways that they influence have followed to their final destination, it was observed that they mediate one of three functions. 1. Increasing the rate of DNA repair. 2. Increasing the rate of antioxidant production. Or 3. Decreasing the rate of oxidant production. Therefore, the common pattern across most lifespan-influencing genes is their downstream effect of altering the rate of DNA damage. Caloric restriction Caloric restriction has been shown to increase lifespan and decrease age-related diseases in all organisms where it has been studied, from single-celled life, such as yeast, to multicellular organisms such as worms, flies, mice and primates. The mechanism by which caloric restriction works is associated with a number of genes related to nutrient sensing, which signal a cell to alter metabolic activity when there is a shortage of nutrients, particularly carbohydrates. When a cell senses a decrease in carbohydrate availability, activation of the lifespan influencing genes DAF2, H1 and SIR2 is triggered. The reason why a shortage of nutrients will induce in a cell a state of increased DNA repair and an increase in lifespan is suggested to be associated with an evolutionarily conserved mechanism of cellular hibernation. 
Essentially, this permits a cell to maintain a dormant state until more favorable conditions are met. During this period, the cell must decrease its normal rate of metabolism, and one of the ways it can accomplish this is by reducing genomic instability. Thus, the cellular rate of aging is mutable and can be influenced by environmental factors such as nutrient availability, which mediate their effect by altering the rate of DNA repair. DNA repair and evolution. One form of DNA damage is alteration of the nucleotide, a mutation, altering the information carried in the DNA sequence. Because DNA mutation and recombination are the main means for evolution to occur, the rate of DNA repair influences the rate of evolution. With a very high level of DNA repair rate, the rate of mutation is reduced, resulting in corresponding reduction in the rate of evolution. Conversely, high mutation rates increase the rate. DNA repair mechanisms are ancient. From a geological chronological perspective, DNA repair mechanisms evolved during the Precambrian period, not long after the life began to use nucleic not long after life began to use nucleic acids as a means of encoding genetic information. During this period atmospheric oxygen began to increase steadily, and then, with the explosion of photosynthetic plants during the Cambrian period, the levels approximated those that we have today. The toxicity of oxygen due to the formation of free radicals required the evolution of mechanisms able to reduce and repair such damage. Today, we can see highly conserved mechanisms of DNA repair that humans share with species as diverse as flies and worms. Disease, Death and Evolution DNA repair rates play a vital role at the cellular scale of non-infectious disease and aging, and at the population scale of evolution. Two important relationships have been established. 1. DNA repair rate mutation, and 2. DNA repair rate and aging. As mutation is directly related to evolution, a new way of looking at the relationship between evolution and aging emerges. It is apparent that, while a mechanism for mutation provides the genome the plasticity to adapt, it is also responsible for destabilizing it, as well as for rendering it vulnerable to disease and aging. Are organisms subject to disease and aging primarily because mutation is the primary driver of evolution? This remains a contentious issue, and numerous theories of aging have been offered. Medicine and DNA Repair Modulation There is a vast body of evidence that has correlated DNA damage to death and disease. As indicated by new overexpression studies, increasing the activity of some DNA repair enzymes could decrease the rate of aging and disease. This may result in the development of human interventions that can add many healthy and disease-free years to an aging population. Not all DNA repair enzymes are beneficial when overexpressed, however. Some DNA repair enzymes can introduce new mutations in healthy DNA. Reduced substrate specificity has been implicated in these errors. Procedures such as chemotherapy and radiotherapy work by overwhelming the capacity of the cell to repair DNA damage, resulting in cell death. Cells that are most rapidly dividing, such as cancer cells, are preferentially affected. The side effect is that other non-cancerous but similarly rapidly dividing cells, such as stem cells in the bone marrow, are also affected. Modern cancer treatments attempt to localise the DNA damage to cells and tissues only associated with cancer. For therapeutic uses of DNA repair, the challenge is to discover which particular DNA repair enzymes exhibit the most precise specificity for damaged sites, so its overexpression will lead to enhanced DNA repair function. Once the appropriate repair factors have been identified, the next step is in selecting the appropriate way to deliver them into cells to generate viable disease and aging treatments. The development of smart genes, which are able to alter the amounts of protein they produce based on changing cellular conditions, stand to increase the efficacy of DNA repair augmentation treatments. Gene repair Unlike the multiple mechanisms of endogenous DNA repair, gene repair, or gene correction, First to a form of gene therapy which precisely targets and corrects chromosomal mutations responsible for disorder. It does so by replacing the flawed DNA sequence with the desired sequence using techniques such as oligonucleotide directed mutagenesis. Genetic mutations requiring repair are normally inherited, but in some cases they can also be induced or acquired, such as in cancer. References S. Tonaletti and G. P. Pfeiffer, 1996. UV Damage and Repair Mechanisms in Mammalian Cells That was published in Bioassays 18, pages 221-228 to For further readings, see the categories Molecular Genetics, Cell Biology and Mutation
This article and the recording are released under the GNU Free Documentation License at www.gnu.org slash copyleft.